Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today we're looking at the top 10 most controversial presidential candidates in US history. Number 10. Earl Browder In American politics, the idea that anyone who self-describes as a socialist could get a party's nomination seems ridiculous. That's why in 2016, Bernie Sanders is losing to Hillary Clinton. In 1936 and again in 1940, Earl Browder ran as a pro-Moscow communist. A World War I draft dodger, Browder was rabidly anti-Hitler, rabidly pro-Stalin, and connected to Soviet spies who were monitoring FDR's government. His stated policies were to overthrow throw capitalism and turn America brick red. He managed to pull down 48,557 votes, a mere 0.1% of all of those cast, but still more than you'd expect a common criminal to get. Number 9. John Charles Fremont In 1856, the newly formed Republican Party was looking for someone respectable to catapult their anti-slavery positions into the mainstream. John Fremont could have been that man. He was a millionaire, and he was known for his absurdly heroic expeditions. So what possible problem could there be? Cannibalism. Cannibalism could be a problem. Back in 1848, Fremont had led an expedition into the Sierras. When their guide got lost, the group had nearly starved. Some resorted to cannibalism to survive. When election time rolled around, you better believe Fremont's opponents made use of this. The controversy lost the Republicans the election, although Fremont still managed to net around 33% of the vote. Number 8. Barry Goldwater a vocal conservative at a time when most of America was made up of New Deal liberals, Goldwater was more like a modern Republican, anti-taxes, anti-government spending, and hawkish on defense. Unfortunately, Goldwater was also a political opportunist. Hoping to hoover up Southern votes from the Democrat administration, he voted against the Civil Rights Act. This won him the official endorsement of the Ku Klux Klan. To the non-racist sitting at home, this made Goldwater look like the Klan candidate. Candidate, perhaps? While some Southerners lapped it up, nearly everyone else was appalled that the Republicans were offering up an apparent racist for election. By November, Goldwater was so controversial that he only picked up six states and 38.5% of the vote. Number 7. Eugene V. Debs a former union member who'd done time for leading a large strike in the late 19th century, Debs became the Socialist Party's standard bearer in 1900. He kept that position for the next five presidential elections, convinced that America's workers would one day hear the siren call of socialism and rise up against the system. In the 1912 election, he even picked up 6% of the popular vote. But his most controversial election came in the aftermath of World War I. A conscientious objector, Debs had refused the draft and had been thrown in jail. Many in the country now saw him as no better than a traitor, yet Debs still ran for president from the confines of his cell. Impressively, he picked up another million votes. Number 6. George Wallace Wallace was a man so committed to the separation of whites and blacks that he physically tried to block two black students from enrolling at the University of Alabama. In 1968, Wallace launched the American Independent Party and announced his bid for the White House. He was the most openly racist candidate to run in a generation, and his bid sent America into meltdown. Amazingly, Wallace's campaign almost did the impossible, not win the presidency, but to blur the results so badly that neither Republicans nor Democrats could claim an outright victory. He carried five states, nearly carried two others, and netted 13.5% of the popular vote. Number 5. Huey P. Long Huey Long is unique on our list in that he didn't actually run for president. He was fully planning to go for the White House in 1936, but he was shot dead by assassin Carl Weiss in September of 1935, only a month after announcing his bid. Yet in the short period of time between his announcement and his death, Long still managed to be one of the most controversial candidates in American history. A brash populist who surrounded himself with openly anti-Semitic advisors, he went everywhere with state troopers who dressed in uniforms that recalled Mussolini's black shirts. While some of his policies were to the left of FDR, his demagogic tendencies meant 
plenty in the establishment feared he was a fascist dictator in the making. Had he not died, Long would likely have been more of a controversial candidate than anyone else on this list. Number 4. Victoria Woodhull Everything Victoria Woodhull did seemed designed to offend the sensibilities of the American mainstream in the 1870s. At a time when women still didn't have the right to vote nationally, she ran to be America's first female president. Woodhull's ideas were so out of whack with the 19th century that members of the public vowed to murder her. People wrote to her and her party saying they would poison her or burn her alive. Unlike some in this video, Woodhull's divisive policy didn't translate to votes. Her party received so few that it worked out as statistically less than 0.1% of the popular vote. Number 3. Pat J. Buchanan The most recent candidate we're going to cover, Pat Buchanan, ran on the Reform Party ticket in 2000 after failing to get on the Republican one in 92 and 96. There was a good reason for this failure. Buchanan supported some positions that went way beyond being merely controversial and into out-and-out -out bigotry. One aspect of Buchanan's platform was to halt non-white immigration. This move won him support amongst white nationalists, and far-right extremists, but alienated nearly everybody else. He was also openly anti-gay, calling AIDS nature's retribution against gays and labeling homosexuality a disorder. Interestingly, Buchanan's campaign continued to be controversial even after the election. In Florida, around 3,000 Jewish retirees were found to have accidentally voted for him due to the poor design of the state's ballots. Number 2. George Edwin Taylor if you want the definition of bravery, look no further than George Edwin Taylor. The Liberty Party candidate in 1904, Taylor's shot at the presidency was history in the making. Not because he was running for a recently revived party, not because his platforms included reparations for ex-slaves at a low point in US race relations. No, what was incredible about Taylor was that he was the first African American in history to run for president. Ultimately, he would receive less than 2,000 votes, but for the sheer brass of being a black man running for president at a time of Jim Crow, racial violence, and race hostility, he deserves to be remembered. Number 1. Grover Cleveland Many presidents have been more controversial than Grover Cleveland, but few have had to deal with such big scandals before they even won the election. During his time on the campaign trail, Cleveland found himself at the center of a controversy that utterly shocked the public of the day. It was discovered that the Democratic nominee had been hiding a secret love child. If that doesn't sound particularly scandalous, you have to remember this was in 1884, a time when Victorian morals were an everyday reality. On top of that, there's evidence to suggest that Cleveland impregnated the mother through rape. In other words, Cleveland should have been sunk. The public hated him, and Republicans were turning up at his rallies and shouting, Ma, Ma, where's my pa? Unfortunately for the Republicans, their guy, James G. Blaine, was openly corrupt and had traded congressional favors for cash. Cleveland won, and as a result, one of the most controversial candidates in the 19th century wound up becoming the 22nd president. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a like below and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Over there on the right are a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.